Hey guys, so I am very, very hungry. I have not eaten today, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I haven't been to Chick-fil-A in quite some time, so I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and literally order like half of their menu and bring it home and do a Chick-fil-A McBong. Every time I say McBong, it sounds really weird to me. Um, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, so deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. By the way guys, I feel like I look like a cop right now with this hairstyle. I kind of like it in a way, but again, I feel like I look like a cop. So we're going to go out like this. Also, just to clarify, so if you guys don't know, I'm a pretty big like couponer. So Chick-fil-A, they have this point system on their app where you can collect points and move up to the next level and get different perks and stuff. I am, I think like 200 points away from getting to the next level, which is silver. That is up on August 10th. It is August 1st today. So I need to reach that. I need to spend $21 to get past that. I'm gonna order a lot of stuff and feed my hungry, my hungry, 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 hungry self. So it's like 85 degrees right now. It's really hot because I'm gonna be buying so much food. I'm taking the long way. So I'm gonna be walking about like four, four and a half miles, so this should be fun. Hopefully I'm not all sweaty at the end of this. So I just got my Chick-fil-A, got a large lemonade and a whole bag of stuff. The bag is smaller than I expected, but I ordered on the app because I knew they were gonna mess it up and the line was like 50 people long, so I made it go quicker. I just noticed they put my name on the cup. That's awesome. This is probably gonna be gone when I'm like halfway home. So I got my food like an hour ago. I'm literally sweating. My hair is flying everywhere. And I stopped at Trader Joe's. So my food is probably cold. I tried to eat a fry wasn't even crispy anymore, so I'm gonna have to like reheat my food when I got home. But it's still gonna be good, right? Hey guys, so I finally made it back. I'm sweaty right now, so I'm gonna try to get through this fast. I wanted to shower first, but then I don't wanna get all cute again. I don't look cute right now, so I don't even know. I should've just showered, but anyways. So I got this bag of Chick-fil-A. I thought I got more stuff, but whatever. Um, I think I got a lot, at least for myself. My belly is ready. My belly is ready for some action. I need some food in me because I haven't really eaten all day. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got a large lemonade. I am not a lemonade person, but I figured I'd try it. And I got a large because like I said earlier, I was trying to spend $20. Um, $21, whatever it was. So I ended up spending $22. I was trying to get my silver status for Chick-fil-A and for some reason I was off by like three points. And like you spend $1, you get 10 points. So like I had to spend like what, 10 more cents? So now I have to go back sometime in the next few days to go get those points. Otherwise it'll like cancel me out and I have to restart. So that's annoying. So I get my food and it was so funny because the lady was filling up my lemonade and she pulls out the sauces and I'm like a huge sauce person. I love barbecue sauce. I, I like teriyaki sauce and I like ketchup. Those are like the only sauces I eat. I go hard on barbecue sauce. So I put in the app, I was like, they limited it. It used to be like three or four per sandwich. So they changed it and they knocked it down to two. They took it down to two. So I got two barbecue sauces for each sandwich. Um, so I get my barbecue sauces and like the lady's stacking them up and she's putting them on the top of the cup And this other lady comes up next to her and she's like why so many sauces and then the lady's like Well, they requested eight and I'm I'm like standing there like I'm hearing this and I've literally gone into chick-fil-a before and there's this one lady There's this one worker there who's such a And So I ask I'm like can I get six barbecue sauce? 
and she'll literally give me like four and I'm like okay so what you want me to come back and ask for two more in like two seconds I don't know it's just so annoying like I understand it I guess like some people like open sausage or like they don't use them but like I literally use every single one I literally squeeze it out I just it's so good like I use them all so these are my sauces one two three four five six seven eight so we got nine oh ten ten in total so I got two ketchup and eight barbecue sauce I got some like plastic silverware I like shoved them all in my bag because it's always nice you know for like on the go you know like just have like extra plastic forks like in case you need them like I don't really use them too much except for like when I need to do dishes like it's always nice so I just got some because I never get them and it just makes it easier one thing they had a sign up so here in California they're banning like plastic straws and I was like so surprised the lady gave me like a plastic straw but it says on their sign like you have to ask specifically for a plastic straw otherwise they give you paper so I was expecting a paper straw but I had already opened it so I didn't want to like waste it so I got a plastic straw instead of a paper straw they messed it up I got a large fry and look where they filled it I literally I ate one I ate one on my way home because I was getting a little hungry fries have deflated um, there's like half they're like half filled right now and they're kind of like mushy <laughs> and their fries are amazing although it tastes like they have no salt on them. Let me go get some salt, guys. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in because they taste saltless. You'd think like when food sweats, like they'd get salty, like people, but. So, fries are good. Fries are always good. Waffle fries, always good, but I feel like like, they're not good unless they're fresh. Like, they're still good, but, like, I would probably go put them in my oven to, like, heat them up again so they get crispy again. So I'm going to show you guys the sandwiches I got. This is the Chick-fil-A, uh, grilled chicken sandwich. So this is what it looks like. And this is, like, a little bit more of a healthier option. The only thing I hate about this is, like, like, Chick-fil-A is so good, but, like, it's so annoying that they charge, like, an extra 15, 30 cents to get, like, a tomato on it or a piece, like, a lettuce leaf. That's just, I find ridiculous. Um, all right, let's give this a go. That was pretty good. I'm gonna get my barbecue sauce out because, like, I feel like I can't eat it without it. I'm gonna get so many, so... Gotta use them up. I hope Chick-fil-A watches this video and they see that I actually use all their sauces because it's amazing. Like, I wish Chick-fil-A would, like, let me buy, like, bottles of their sauce. I would literally, like, buy so much from them that, like, you know, they'd be very successful. Okay, this bun's a little weird. It's, like, yellow. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not like your normal like wheat bun. Like I thought these used to be like wheat buns or something. But like it's not white and it's not brown. It's like yellow. That's kind of weird to me. But I mean like it tastes fine. I mean I guess it has like a little bit. You know maybe the bun is like old or something. I don't know. I'm a messy eater. Sorry, guys, if I get sauce everywhere, all over my face. Um, normally, I'll take a barbecue sauce and I'll pour it on the sandwich. And then I'll open another one and I'll dip it. And... Yeah. It's really good. Really good. Okay. So, I think I'm going to eat, like, the full grilled chicken sandwich because... Like, the, everything on it's, like, wet. Like, the grilled chicken sandwich is the one that, like, drips, like, water and stuff from, like, the lettuce and stuff, like, all over you. So, I'm going to finish that one so it doesn't go bad. And then I'm probably going to not finish the other ones and put them in the fridge for later. Also, with my order, I got no butter and no pickles on the other two sandwiches because... I hate butter. I'm like probably the only person on this earth that cannot stand butter. I hate butter. I hate cream cheese. I hate all that stuff. 
literally it makes me want to throw up and it just like freaks me out like I don't know it's uh, I can't do it so yeah no butter no pickles on both this is the spicy chicken sandwich so I'm just gonna show you guys it's literally got like an extra leg coming out of it <laughs> um, it is very big but I'm down for it extra chicken you know can't go wrong with that so let's try the spicy one So the spicy chicken sandwich, the spicy chicken sandwich is probably my favorite. It tastes absolutely amazing. It's spicy, but not too spicy. The only thing is, <coughs> I feel like after I eat this, it kind of like hurts my stomach a little bit. Probably because of all the spices and everything. But like, it's kind of worth it. I guess then you just gotta kind of deal with it after. I don't want to eat all of these in front of you guys. I still have one other one. I'm going to put this down. So that's the spicy one. And if you guys don't know, Chick-fil-A, they put their normal Chick-fil-A sandwich in a normal, like, white bag. And then the spicy one gets the red bag. And then the grilled chicken sandwich gets the nice little box. By the way, guys, the lemonade. I'm not a huge lemonade fan. I, I got the large because I needed to spend more money. Otherwise, like, I probably should have got, like, their tea or something. Yeah, it's, like, good, but, like, it's not the best lemonade out there. I feel like, I feel like all the acid in this lemonade is, like, hurting my stomach. So, I'm going to stop drinking it. So, let's try the fries with the dipping sauce. Barbecue sauce. Ketchup's just ketchup. But, Yeah. Pretty good. They're like so flimsy. Cause they're not like, they're not, <laughs> they're not fresh. So they're flimsy. Let's see the last sandwich guys. Here is the plain chicken sandwich. No butter on the bun. It looks like there's butter on the bottom of the bun. And no pickles. Very boring sandwich. It's okay, but like I wouldn't eat this plain. Like I feel like it does need sauce. So I'm gonna go in with barbecue sauce and I'm like almost out of this one. But I need another one. This is kinda weird. Look at the back of this chicken. It's like all black. That's kinda gross. I think it's pretty good. Hope you enjoy this video. Honestly, Chick-fil-A, I have to say, like, they're probably the best place to get a chicken sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna shut in my teeth. Yeah, their chicken sandwiches are bomb. They're so, so good. If you guys like chicken sandwiches. The only concern I have with Chick-fil-A, it's like most of their chicken looks so good on the inside. Like, you know, like, normal chicken breasts have, like, like red blood vessels and stuff chick fil A's like never do so I'm kind of scared like I also like stopped going there like kind of but like not really but um like I'm concerned like do they like bleach their chicken like I know like normally like you bleach meat like at places I think uh because you want to sterilize it but like theirs is like always so white so I don't know that's one thing that gets me <sighs> I'm getting full but I'm going to finish my grilled chicken sandwich. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish you guys, like, could have, like, I wish I could share it with you guys. Uh, we could have had, like, a nice little lunch together. <laughs> but make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button as well so you guys can be notified for my future videos. I'm trying to post once a week. It's a little bit all over the place right now. <coughs> hope to see you guys soon. Love you guys all. Hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe. Bye.